Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing what does the universe want you to know now? Okay, it's the new month, so you already know the drill, okay? So today is February 7th and the prayer says, Lord, I praise your holy name. You alone are worthy and yet you choose to consider me. Thank you for remembering the poor and the weak, for honoring the humble, and for and being faithful in your own way, in your own time. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use some surrender cards for what you guys need to surrender to. Very guys, love and light, ancestors, and masters, and the prayer light. What does my Aquarius for my collective to surrender to at this time? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. So some of you guys have to get out walking more. Okay. If you went somewhere where it's like warm and hot, that's a beautiful time to just walk around, you know, go to the beach, you know, get some fresh air. Appreciate nature more. Okay. Instead of being in the house 24-7, right? Get out in nature. Feel the sun. Get some vitamin D. Okay, we have here surrender to creativity. Some of you guys, okay, could be afraid of being creative because you could either be afraid that people are not going to understand your creativeness, okay, they're not going to get you, okay, but Spirit is saying do it anyways, okay. They'll let your imagination store. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve your problem, okay. Improvise, be creative, okay, you know. Surrender to trust, okay? I have to read this one. It says, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. So, I don't know if some of you guys like to just lay down in the grass, okay? That that also can replenish you. You have surrender to trust. So some of you guys need to trust more, okay? Trust in the universe. Trust in yourself. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do, okay? Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Some of you guys could be around people that are very opinionated. They always want to put their two cents in everything, okay? If your intuition is telling you or you're getting that gut feeling, listen to yourself. Trust yourself, okay? Don't allow other people to be like, you know, do this, okay? Because of their logic. Understand your logic, okay? And listen to your intuition. Listen to that inner voice, okay? You have to surrender stubbornness, okay? And of course, I know we could be most definitely be stubborn at times, okay? But, you know, stubbornness that can stop you from a lot of blessings as well, right? So it says, if you're teasing up or taking a rigid stance against something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself, okay? And we have here surrender to divine timing. So some of you guys can be trying to control things, okay? You have to surrender to divine time. You can't control it. You have to work with it, okay? It says, sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Okay? Surrender denial. Okay? It says, accept people in situations exactly as they are, without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So some of you guys are in the eight of swords energy, that two of swords energy. Okay? Where you're in denial about something or somebody. Again, we know you love whoever you love, but you know, try to accept people for who they are, okay? Detach your love to clearly see the truth. We have surrender to the magic of who you are, okay? And this reminds me of surrender to creativity, okay? Be yourself, okay? It says, We all have magic in us, even in the um, different aspects of life. Remember that you are magical. Being with the uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Surrender to success. Okay, it says you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So know that you deserve everything that this world has to offer. Okay? All the precious things in life. Okay? Uh, surrender fear. Some guys are telling yourself beautiful stories. Okay, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. 
Okay, so what are your fear of intimacy? So some guys have a fear of intimacy. Okay, it's like somebody either broke your heart really bad. Okay, you had trust in this person. Okay, you really had love for this person. And it's like they broke your heart so you could have a fear of opening you know, yourself back up to love. Okay, it says you are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So really look into that. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have here, surrender unhealthy relationships, okay? It says, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people, okay? Know that. So we're going to do angel answers. Spirit guides of love and light, ancestors and masters, the angel of prayer and light. What does the angels want to tell Aquarius for my collective? What do I need to know? That card is full out. The situation will improve. So some of you guys can feel like, you know, something's not going to improve. Spirit is saying the situation will improve. Okay. Going to be a peaceful resolution. Improving health. Some guys need to start working on your health. We have here meditation brings answers. Some guys need to meditate more, get to sit in quiet, peaceful meditation. There's something better. Ooh, okay, no need to worry. And we have here actually angels and be assertive. So it's time to stand up for yourself to take charge. And at the bottom of the deck, we have in the near future. So let's read. The, the situation will improve. Okay. So this has here, your angels want you to know that they are aware that things look difficult right now. However, the situation is going to improve. It may take some time. There would most likely be some hard work ahead of you. But the effort you put forth will be worth it and the things are going to get better. Okay, now is not the time to give up on any wounded friendships or alien relationships. There is still hope for the future. Take heart and continue to work towards a partnership where both parties are fulfilled and happy in the future. Okay, we have there is something better. Have had something wonderful you in mind. However, it's not the same thing you have planned. Ask yourself what would you rather have, the very thing you're asking for or something that would make you much more happy or much more fulfilled. Sometimes the divine has joys in store for us that we can never Imagine on our own. Open your mind and heart to the possibility that you deserve even more than what you're asking for. It. Trust your angels to guide you in a new and exciting direction. Spirit is saying there's something better for you. Okay, don't sell yourself short. Okay, because of what you used to. Okay. We have improved in health. Okay, let's see. Is it this one? No, I'm gonna be okay. It said the angels want you to know that the health of the person you're asking about is going to improve, whether it's a family member, a lover, okay, a friend. You can request the assistance of Archangel Raphael and your guardian angels to speed along the recovery. This card may also be urging you to make more healthier choices in your life. If you're feeling you're called to detox from a harm for foods or substances, you should follow that guidance. Removing unhealthy practices from your life will make you feel vibrant and strong. Okay, we have no need to worry. I'm going to read in the near future because it's right here. It says, what are you asking about will occur very soon, so you won't have to wait much longer. Stay optimistic and continue upon your current path. Be open to receiving. Okay, so it could be seeing a lot of synchronicities right now. Okay, spread that be open to receiving. Okay, don't always feel like you have to do everything on yourself or by yourself. You know, allow other people to help you. We have no need to worry. It says your worries and concerns regarding your questions are unnecessary. Your angels have the situation well in hand and everything is going to turn out perfectly. Obsessing over the subject isn't helpful. The energy of fear and worry only shows the eventual manifesting of your desires. Okay, visualize loving and happy outcomes and keep your thoughts positive. Very soon you will wonder why you were worried about this at all. Okay, it's pretty saying you're worried for no reason. Okay, we have meditation brings answers. It says trying to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solution you seek can only be found by going within through meditation or inner spiritual work. You may also gather insights from your nighttime dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. Okay? 
And we have extra angels. Okay, so we got to thank the extra angels for help. Meditation, extra angels. Okay, you probably need to pray more. Okay. Um, we have your angels are always with you. However, you must ask for their assistance in order for them to provide you with the help you're seeking. Because heaven respects your free will choices. State your questions to your angels clearly. You can do so either out loud or silently in your own mind. Your angels will instantly help you according to divine will. Your angels may also have special messages for you about the situation you're asking about. Sit quietly in a peaceful place indoors or out in nature and ask for advice and guidance. Notice what messages comes to you. It's possible the answers will come to you through your feelings, hearing, or sight, or perhaps you will just know the answer. You can also ask the angels for signs during the day to guide you onto the right path. Okay, and we have be assertive. Be assertive. Okay, this reminds me of Aries energy. So some guys need to bring out that fire in you. Okay, and stop being so chill. You need to start because I'm saying you could be too kind. Okay, you could allow people to, you know, step all over you. Spirit is saying you need to stand up for yourself. Okay, the situation calls for you to take matters into your own hands. Okay, you must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fulfillment of your desires with courage and self confidence. Ask for what you need without worrying down your request in order to satisfy others. The Spirit is saying, whatever you want and whatever you feel like you deserve, don't allow other people to make you feel like you can't get that. Okay, don't have to water down your request to satisfy others. Okay, if they're not on what you own, then it's time to move forward. Okay, you need to take the lead and get to step in. Okay, remember that seeing to your own needs is nothing to apologize for. Set boundaries with those around you in order to create a safe and fair environment. Tailor your actions so that you earn the respect from others you deserve and then move forward. Okay, and that's on period. So, I'm going to give you guys some monology advice for what the universe wants you to know right now. You want to know if this resonates with you, okay, depending on your guys' situation. Okay, spare guys of love and light, ancestors and masters. My angel of the prayer light. Give me some advice for the Aquarius. For the Aquarius. Aquarius. It was just a new moon in Aquarius recently. We have what do you need to release? Whiny moon. Okay. What do you guys need to release? A time for healing. So whatever you need to release is probably... Because you need to heal something, okay? Whoever that you is still holding on to, that you need to release, this person is stopping you from healing, okay? I like when I pull these monology cards for you guys and they just like very, they connect with each other. Yeah, don't let the past hold you back. It's something from your past that's holding you back, okay, that you need to release, okay? So let's read Rhyme Moon. Okay, I gotta be back here then. Okay. It says the whiny moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. And no matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse. And it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can be still be gently suggesting that you need to let something go and stop trying so hard. Okay, Spirit is saying it is safe for you to let go and move on. Okay, you did everything that you could possibly do. Okay, move forward with as little resistance as possible. This is not the time to start new projects. Okay, because you need time to heal. Okay, release an emotional baggage is recommended now. Say sorry to someone. Do energetic work such as meditation or yoga. Soon you will see what lies ahead. So you want to see whatever you released, it was necessary. Okay. It's a time for you to take a moment to look up in the skies. Every night, you will see the moon growing smaller and smarter as she moves from full to new again. It's a time when things are falling away. It's certainly not the time to cling on to anyone or anything. Drawing this card suggests your situation is in autumn and winter phase. So hunker down and start the regeneration process. It's time for healing. So let's see. Baltic moon. Okay, I gotta be up here then. Ball stick moon. Okay, 
It says, pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to put paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. To remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Okay? Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. So Spirit is saying when one is healed, all are healed. Okay? It's time to let go of the past. Don't let the past hold you back. Okay? You're about to um, turn the corner. You need more time to heal. Think about how the situation will look if everyone was healed in the situation. Okay? So... That's so what Spirit is saying. Try to move forward with little resistance as possible because you got to notice that whoever that treated you bogus that you need to release from this past, okay, of yours, okay, this person is not healed. So Spirit is saying try to be forgiven and try to see the bigger picture of the situation, okay, if everyone was healed, okay? So, because you know, hurt people hurt people, right? So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!